Hi, Sean Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. This is Trend News. Dog chained up for a decade is the sweetest reaction to being set free. This article's from the Dodo for the love of animals. Uh, they've got all kinds of videos on pets and miraculous story about stories about animals and it's a great, great site. You can share this article, you can share their articles and you can like this page on Facebook. Okay, the, the dog's name is Rusty. Uh, articles entitled Dog Chained Up for a Decade Has the Sweetest Reaction to Being Set Free and this is Rusty and this is Rusty's story. Rusty didn't seem sweet or playful at all when Jared first met him. He was chained up in a yard in Phoenix, Arizona barking at passers-by all day. How often have we seen dogs barking in yards as we go past? And one day Jared decided to stop and say hello. He t there's, there's old Rusty, he's put his hand through there as well. It turned out that Rusty was just lonely and deeply craving some human affection. Jared began to stop every day and Rusty grew friendlier and friendlier, wagging his tail for treats and laying his head along the fence. But Rusty's conditions were deplorable. Jared had never seen him off the chain. He had flies all over his body and a tumor on his belly. Jared knew he had to get Rusty somewhere safe. One day, Jared stopped to hang out with Rusty and his owner came out of the house. She casually told him Rusty has been chained up for 10 to 15 years, guys. It was all he knew. Jared told her he wasn't leaving without Rusty. At first she resisted this, you know, she complained about it and she eventually let him go. How's that? Finally, she handed over the chain to Jared and the two left together. Rusty didn't buy it. He wasn't even scared. He just walked trium triumphantly along, the, along with his rescuer. Is he chained up? He's taking a video of him. Okay, at the vet's office, they had to cut Rusty's collar off his neck since it hadn't been unhooked for so many years. They just left the collar on there. Even though Rusty was seeing, it, was seeing and smelling new places and people, he wasn't defensive or aggressive. He took everything as though he was completely ready for a new life. And then Rusty enjoyed the very first bath. It took him a long time to scrub off the dirt and motor oil that was caked in his coat. And there they are looking after him. Wonderful, eh? So I'm just going to summarize the rest of this article. You can come in here. I'll leave this in my post. What happened is Jared couldn't adopt Rusty himself. So they found a family for Rusty. With the big yard, a place to play with doggy brothers and sisters. And it basically was paradise for Rusty. And I'm just going to read this a little bit at the end here. Rusty probably had no idea what he was missing out for the, for the 10 or so years he lived chained up in a dusty yard. But as soon as he got a taste of good life, he was hooked. <laughs> And now he has what every dog deserves, a loving, ho happy home. And it's all because someone stopped to check on an unfriendly looking dog chained up in a stranger's yard. No dog should spend their whole life chained up outdoors or indoors. Dogs rely on interaction with humans for their sense of safety and community. They need love just like us. And here's a video that Russ, that, that Jared made of the story of Rusty. I encourage you to come watch this video. It's an awesome video. Come like this page and watch this video. I'm not going to play this video for you. You'll get the, you'll have it in my post. So that's the story of Rusty and Jared. Awesome story, guys. There he is there. It's from the dodo for the love of animals. No animal should ever be chained up on the outside or the inside. This is Sean Fitzgerald from the dugout in Durban North. This is Trend News. Till tomorrow night, good day.